Hello everybody, thank you for joining my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about fibromyalgia. Um, a lot of people with uh, various physical and uh, psychological um, ramifications due to ex past experiences and uh, um, changes in physiology. Uh, so, first off... Um, I'm going to talk about fibromyalgia is due to the production of more sensory nerves. The arterial venule shunts receive over the normal amounts of sensory pain information. And this is why change in climate affects people with fibromyalgia. People with fibromyalgia are, are highly reactive to change in temperature because they tend to develop pain thresholds that are dramatically lower than those people without fibromyalgia. Change in temperature can precipitate a flare. Other circumstances that can bring on a flare are lack of sleep, extreme stress, and strenuous exercise. Uh, let me just go into this. So this is a uh, um, part of the description of fibromyalgia. There are uh, different studies that some uh, claim that temperature has something to do with it but usually it's because of uh people what people talk about what they they hear that what they hear what they what the um the physicians hear or the scientists that are conducting these experiments they're asking or uh having these people give uh a recount onto um uh you know th what they think affects their uh their their flares or affects pain and a lot of them lead to temperature change in barometric temperature uh cold extreme cold just not even extreme cold sometimes just regular cold and then also extreme heat um and some practitioners believe that this is not true at all that uh, temperature doesn't have anything to do uh, because of uh, empirical evidence is uh, is not there. Um, so remember, empirical evidence is evidence that you can def uh, you can readily see or prove, and uh, a, a lot of uh, what uh, what pe what these people are telling these physicians uh, is oral. You know, not really uh, through. Um, empirical evidence um i i personally believe this is true because of, of my own experience um also uh some questions that ignite ideas about whether uh, fibromyalgia reacts to temperature change tend to focus on warmer versus cold climates does a warmer climate cause fewer symptoms in people with fibromyalgia some theories suggest that reducing stress, uh, this is important, stress for me is that is even worse than temperature change. Um, so uh, some theories suggest that reducing stress and living in warmer climates leads to less symptoms involving pain. It's believed that the barometric pressure change involving colder weather causes some people with fibromyalgia to face uh, so they would face stiff muscle, muscle. So they they would be. Uh, we would talk about like colder climates. Your muscles would tense, or they would c basically constrict and cause pain. Um, and uh, just simply la laying under the direct sunlight helps some people to decrease pain. Too much heat can increase pain among certain people as well. So. From my experience too, getting sunlight is important vitamin D production, but it also helps. I believe more people, uh, more people are uh, prone to experience pain in colder weather. So if you can get direct sunlight on you, that that should help relieve some of the pain. For most people, there are people that they experience the opposite effect. Um, a cold climate can present an increase of pain for people who have fibromyalgia. This is because the cold climate can cause the muscles and the tissue to constrict. Like I said, there are more sensory nerves in people with fibromyalgia and are a component of the circulatory, uh, the circulatory system. So remember, people with fibromyalgia 
have more sensory nerves. And this is part of the circulatory system. These components of the circulatory system are known as arterial venual shunts. So arterial venual shunts. So again, arterial venual shunts, a, or you know, abbreviated ABS, and they control how blood is transported throughout the body. These arterial venual shunts um, are the reason why some people begin to feel cold as an ABS resembles a valve that restricts blood and thus heat to certain extremities of the body, the hands and the feet, arms and the legs. So we're talking about sort of like these valves, these arterial venual shunts. So remember that arterial venual shunts, important for people with fibromyalgia. These are part of the sensory nerves. And what they do is they restrict blood flow. And when they restrict blood flow, they restrict heat. When they restrict heat, they cause um, constriction of the tissues. Uh, and that's what causes pain. There's more people that uh, there's more of these sensory nerves in people with fibromyalgia, which explains why people with fibromyalgia feel pain. These arterial venual shunts are shut off and they're 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 constricting the flow of blood thus the flow of heat thus causing pain and that's why a lot of people feel cold in their extremities you all have a wonderful day bye bye